What's up, Tide fans? Stacy Blackwood here from Tide Talk Live. We're going to be talking a little bit about Alabama's 2023 recruiting class. Of course, Malik Benson makes a commitment on Tuesday to the Crimson Tide, the top JUCO prospect in the country. And also, Richard Young, the five-star running back, has dropped his top three. We're going to talk about those two guys here in just a minute. But as always, we want to hear from you guys. So jump in the comment section and answer today's question. Will five-star running back Richard Young pick Alabama over Oregon and Georgia? Why for yes or in for no? Like I said, jump in the comments and let us know. Also, hit that like button, hit that share button, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We are less than 150 subscribers away from our goal of 1,000 subscribers, so help us reach that goal by smashing that subscribe button. All right, for just a couple minutes, I want to talk about Malik Benson and Richard Young. All right, Malik Benson committed to Alabama on Tuesday. Of course, we all know he is the talented Juco wide receiver out of Kansas, just a guy that has superb ability. You, you, you look at a guy that's you know around six foot, 180, 85 pounds has legit speed running around a 10 400 meter dash so you know he has great long speed but he also displays great route running ability just phenomenal hands and just can play inside or outside a couple weeks ago we had a chance to talk with joseph hastings of on three recruiting and he just talked about and raved about how high he was on malik benson and how high the album of coaching staff was on Malik Benson. So this is a big time get for Alabama. And what's crazy to think about is Alabama has 12 scholarship players at the wide receiver position right now that will all be eligible to return next season. Now, not all those guys are going to return, but there's going to be a lot of depth there in the 2024 season or the 2023 season, excuse me, uh, when Malik Benson arrives in Tuscaloosa. So uh, he's going to have to fight out, fight out some, uh, some, some really good competition there at wide receiver. But I look at him, I think if he stepped on campus today, you could make the argument he was the most talented receiver in that wide receiver room. So I'm really high on Malik Benson. I think he has a chance to be a phenomenal player for the Crimson Tide, and that's a big-time get for Nick Saban and the staff in Tuscaloosa. All right, let's talk about Richard Young. Late Tuesday night, he released his top three, two-on-three sports. It's Alabama, it's Georgia, and it's Oregon. All right, Alabama has, has kind of long been considered the favorite for Richard Young, really for about the past couple months. So Alabama's in a really strong, strong spot, but Georgia is surging, and he recently took a trip out to Eugene, Oregon, to visit with the Ducks, and you know what Oregon has to offer with their facility facilities, you know, their, their uniforms, the kind of the flashiness that Oregon has to offer. And of course, Georgia is the defending national champions. They have a great line of uh, long line of running backs that have been successful both in college and the NFL. And then you have Alabama, who's just, you know, just been the most dominant program over the last decade in college football. So I think Alabama is in really good shape for Richard Young. My money is that Alabama pick or that Richard Young picks Alabama whenever he does decide to make his commitment. So I think Alabama's in good shape there for Richard Young, and he would be just a phenomenal addition to this class of 2023, which is slowly but surely starting to gain some steam and has a chance to finish on a very, very strong note. Of course, Peter Woods is still out there. James Smith, Quay Russell, just a lot of in-state talent uh, out there still that album is in a really good shape to, to, to land. So, and Richard Young is an out-of-state guy from Florida, but like I said, he's a five-star, number one back in the country, and I think Alabama is going to land him whenever he pulls the trigger. So, a lot of recruiting news to talk about. There's so much going on right now. The, the on three uh, uh, interview with Joseph Hastings went really well. So we're going to get him back on the show here before too long to take a deeper dive into Alabama football recruiting. But that's going to wrap up this episode. Like I said, we want to hear from you. Jump in the comments. Answer our question for today. Will Richard Young pick Alabama over Georgia and Oregon? Why for yes or in for no? Hit that like button. Hit that share button. And make sure you are subscribed to our channel. For Stacy Blackwood, this has been Tide Talk Live. Until next time, roll Tide.